What's up, Divine Feminine? Divine Masculine, if you're up in here, welcome to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. Divine Feminine. I'm going to take my time with this reading. And try to get you some clarity. Some of you may be feeling hurt right now. You may feel like you have a devil in your life that's wasting your time. This devil energy is trying to call you right now. They're trying to message you, but you're so hurt by this person that you're looking at the phone like, fuck you. They're, they're, they're uh, you caught this person dealing with somebody else online. Now they're trying to call you. You're not messaging. So they're sending their friends to you. To give you a message. But you cool on them. Because you've seen them dealing with somebody else online. Okay. Energy vampire. You're healing from it. This person is wasting your time and your energy. Basically, that's what all cards are saying. And you've healed from it. This is an energy vampire. This is someone comes in your life for sex. This is somebody after you have sex with them, you all tired and drained and they up bouncing around and shit. Okay, this is where you need to, to um, protect your sacral chakra and your solar plexus chakra. Because you see this purple right here? See this purple right here? That's for your crown chakra. You see, I cover my head up every night. Okay? Because you can have someone come in your dreams and have sex with you in your dreams. You see, it's a, a sex energy vampire. Look how he got that ball in his hand. That could be your sacral chakra. He could be trying to hold your happiness in his hand. This person could be using sex to make you happy. Draining your energy. And you was dealing with this and now you've healed from it. Some of you could be a Pisces. You see this blue bird? That blurt bird is it that the color blue represents your third eye. And it also represents your throat. But this being dark blue is something that you need to see. You need to see that this person was doing nothing but draining your energy. Wasting your time. I'm trying to bust your bubble. Okay? But you floated over this shit. You're putting the pieces of the puzzle back together. Some of you, this person, you may smoke weed with them. And you, you guys get high together and you, you fuck. And then the next day, you feeling good. You feeling like they fucked the shit out of me. Or um, masculine, if you you up in here, you saying that she fucked the shit out of me. Okay? This is an energy vampire. She maybe sucked the shit out of you. And masculine, you fucked the shit out of somebody. Okay? Whoever it is, it's an energy vampire that when you have sex with this person... You're tired. And at first, when you first started having sex with this person, they was the one laying around sleepy and tired, drained afterwards. Now, it's you feeling like this after you have sex with them. And it's like you walking around naked all the time. This is all they want from you. This is how they feel. have you feeling like all they want is sex all the time to where the numbers is falling off the clock. And see how she got her feet down a little bit in that water? You need to just go on and dive down in that water, baby, and take you a spiritual bath. Because this is a demon. He's coming to you sexually. And this is where you're, you're healing from. Some of you may be dealing with the Pisces when I see the fish down there. Some of you may be around somebody that has koi fish. You may have koi fish. This person right here. You see how she's putting the pieces of the puzzle back together? She's floating over some shit. Okay? And her little cat, too. 
Okay, some of you could be dealing with the air sign or you could be an air sign. Some of you could be a water sign. Okay. I see water out here. And and this is this is the energy. Somebody wasted your time, but you heal. You see how she got her feet in both of them. She 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 I've already been to the water. I've already been baptized. I've already been converted. And I feel I feel all right. Okay. Somebody, you just dipping your toe in that. You're, 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 you're dipping in the healing process. And this person is like, they're trying to cloud your judgment. This person has made you cry a lot. You've cried a fucking river. But you've healed and you've gotten over it. And yes, this is an energy vampire. And with her dress being purple, maybe some of you need to get an amethyst. Maybe you need to sleep with the amethyst under your pillow in case this person is coming to you in your dreams. But this is the energy of you healing. But maybe you need to fully heal. Okay? Maybe you're just dipping and dabbling a little bit. Maybe some of you is dipping and dabbling with a Pisces energy. I also see you, Divine Feminine, carrying yourself with grace and beauty. <coughs> Somebody's birthday could be uh, August 6th. Somebody's birthday could be March 3rd, April 6th. You could have been with this person for eight years, 10 years. Put my condom on. This is still telling me about this energy vampire coming towards the divine feminine. So if you know you're dealing with the person and after you have sex with them, you are uh, tired and drained, don't feel like getting up, you don't want to cook for the kids, don't want to get dressed, you don't want to get up and go to work, this person is sent in your life to slow you down because you have a purpose. See? You have a purpose. And spirit is around you. Spirits of the of the your highest angels. North, south, east, and west. And it's like you have to be around this person and you have to wear a false mask. But spirit is saying for you to to if you have healing crystals to um, get them crystals out of that little jar, get them crystals out of that little box, wherever you got them hid, get them out, get it out. You need to heal yourself. So some of you got, you have crystals, you have sage. It's, it's, it's not, it's not something when you get on a spiritual journey, because once you wake up and you start noticing things happen in your life, um, this is, it's, it's not like, that's like you going buying an iPhone. And you pay seven or $800 for that iPhone. And you charge it one time. And then because the battery go down, you throw that motherfucker in the closet. And you don't use it no more. Let me let this sink in. That's what somebody is doing with their crystals. Some of you are healing, but you're still wearing a mask in front of somebody. You're still not showing who you truly are. And this could be with some of your family. This could be your friends. 
that you're portraying to be somebody else that you're not. Again, Spirit is saying, stop playing and get them crystals out of that drawer. Get them out of that closet. Get them out of wherever you got them hid and charge them. Okay? That's like I said, that's like um, having a phone and not charging. That's just like buying a brand new car and leaving the, the lights on and letting the battery die and, and you just park that car up in the garage and don't drive it no more. You have to do the same thing with them crystals and recharge them. You can't just sit them motherfuckers up on your your table or your desk for when people to see and to believe you are all spiritual and all of that. No, you really got to really do that shit. Okay? So I'm going to stop right there. If this reading resonated with you, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. All right. Peace.